What's up, okay? I wanted to use my man Lex here to illustrate an example today, okay? This video is gonna be real short, but it's gonna be about the grin and grab, okay? It's what happens in a business, business transaction when people are complimenting you, your service, or what you're about uh, in the middle of a sales transaction. And they are using that as a way to not make a decision on purchasing that day. As business owners, this happens a lot more often than not. It's when we think in our head, well, they said they loved it, why aren't they answering the phone? Why aren't they replying to my emails? Why didn't they Why didn't they come on board yet? Why haven't they purchased? What? What's going on? Why haven't they become a client? And the reason is because they gave you the grin and grab. They were looking at you dead in your eyes, right? They were sharing with you great things about how awesome you are and how great your product is and how well it will work. But then when it comes down to actually getting the making the buying decision, something happens inside of these kinds of people. And if they don't feel like there's value involved, then what they're going to do is they're going to say, instead of saying no, there's no value, or no, it's not the right time, or no, this, or no, that. Instead of saying no, then objection, they say yes, and then just disappear, right? And when, when, when you do that, when you allow it to happen, what happens is that your confidence goes through, just, it just goes into the floor. Because what you're, you're, you're looking back over the conversation, you have no idea what you did wrong, right? You're, you're, you're thinking in your head, well, they said they loved it. They said they loved it. They said they loved it. Why? is it that they have not purchased? Well, the grin and grab is a method that people use to deflect the no's. They think that being saying no is rude. As business owners, we know that that's not the case, right? We have to hear no. If you're not hearing no's, you're not talking to enough people. So when it comes down to the grin and grab, the way to avoid that is by getting them to make a decision, okay? You gotta get them to make a decision right then and there. Uh, I go over different closes with my clients that work very well because a lot of times you want objections. If you are not getting an objection, you are going through and experiencing the grin and grab. Just know that. That is the red flag. That's the identifier. The moment that you get through a transaction and you realize that there was no objection and you still don't have payment, they've given you the grin and grab. It's going to be very hard for you to get them on board, okay? It's just the way it is. So uh, to avoid that, make sure, like I said, make sure to get them to make a decision. Yes or no. If it's a no, it doesn't mean that it's no forever. It just means that it's no right now. So you could follow up in a week, in two weeks, in a month, and then continue to serve them the free value and the results in advance that are gonna help them see that you are the best person for the job and that they do need your help, right? So do not, believe me, I've experienced the grin and grab. It is brutal, because afterwards you don't know what the hell you did wrong, right? So know that even if you get a yes and there's no objections, Go into DEFCON 5. Start to bring objections out of these people. Okay, start to ask them, is the price okay? Are the terms okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? Because then you're gonna start to get them to say, no, well, okay, well, no, actually, I got a question about this or this or that. Now you can sell them again, right? Go into the pitch mode again and share the benefits and everything that they get so that they can then become a buyer, right? Because if not, what they're gonna do is they're gonna answer the questions themselves and any unanswered question by you, they're gonna answer and that answer is typically gonna be wrong. So we don't want them answering our questions, okay? They're not the best salesman for our product. Let us do the job. Get them to make a decision, okay? Don't let them walk off with that one or you are getting fondled. All right, I hope that helps today. If you like that, go ahead and comment and share, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.